Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we have a new episode with the best Ultra Boost uh, value for money in white color, in my opinion. And as always, after this preview, we start with the unboxing. Feel free to pause the video where you need. We can see here some of my sizes. These sneakers are true to size for me, but if you want them for lifestyle, I suggest to try going half size up. We don't find anything else in the box. Here we can see both of them and maybe some of you wonder why exactly this pair well because this ultra boost 20 they have the softer cushioning in that midsole for the price that they they are asking right now so that's why for me these ones they are the best value for money if like me you are wondering which other Ultra Boost have a bigger stack? Well, Ultra Boost 19, for example, have seven millimeters more in heel and forefoot, but you know, good luck finding those. They are not making them anymore, so it will be very hard to get them somewhere. But I wish I had the chance to check those because I didn't get the chance to check them before disappearing. So too bad Adidas that you take those from the market, you know, they were maybe the one of the best value for money and people will still have a max cushioning in Adidas with boost material. So I don't see the reason to take those out. We all need a max cushioning sneakers from time to time. So I don't see why to get those out. It was a poor choice there. So back on these ones, why these ones instead of, I don't know, Ultra Boost 1, 5, 21, 22, well mainly because of this missile. It's much softer than everything I mentioned before, so that's why. If you are tired of hard uh, midsoles, get these ones, if you can find them, obviously. Because these ones, they are soft. These ones, they are the way you want to be. I don't want to have problems with my feet when I'm standing a lot in my feet. So I will look for this kind of sneakers. That's logic, you know. Why will I want to have a, a harder missile? Why? If it does affect my, my feet. For me, it doesn't make sense, you know. The thickness of that black rubber is around 3 millimeters, maybe a bit more, not really sure, but it's okay. The thickness is quite okay, to be honest, of that layer. We can see here some exposed holes with uh, the boost material. I wish they weren't there. I mean, I don't see any reason to have them there. That is a soft foam, that boost, and I don't want to have a soft foam without protection on my feet, you know so don't leave them expose it it has the size of my nail so imagine how easy it is to be pocket with something the thickness of the insoles is around three millimeters but i wish they were having the kind of insoles we can find on supernova those are much thicker and much softer so i love those i wish they were having those in these sneakers Here I'm trying to see if they are soft like they were before or not and I can't say 100% if they are as soft as before because I feel in th this ones they are a bit more firm but I might be wrong, who knows. 
here we can see the interior and the reason why i like this ultra boost 20 over ultra boost 5 and 1 or even 4 because of this kind of padding around the ankle and the heel you see how much less is here well this is what i want to see in the future less material i don't want this much uh padding because you will sweat more and we are using these uh, sneakers in summer so make the mat In this shot we can see the label, we can see they are made in Vietnam and they are made in 2022, although this is a model from 2020. Here we can see the interior. On the footbed we can see that they have a thin layer of material, synthetic, I don't know which one exactly, but I wish they, they wouldn't add that material there because they are making them a bit more harder that footbed will be much harder because of that material so i don't see the need to have that material over the boost material and here we can see the right foot because we want to see if the quality is consistent in both of them to be honest i checked both of them and i didn't find any issues with them so no complaints here they are well stitched and well made overall on the heel we can see it has a very thin uh, band of rubber not really sure what is the purpose of that one because it's not reflective so other than that only maybe for design I'm guessing here we can see the stitching on the cage and the lateral logo well the logo is not uh, reflective in these sneakers yeah this is the stitching I think every running sneakers although they are lifestyle sneakers or running sneakers i want to have some reflective materials you only benefit from them so i don't see why not to have them if they have the shape of running sneakers you know in the toe box we can see they are reinforced with some extra stitching that is very useful when you are running with them and here we can see the external labels as always pause if you need In this shot we can see the sole once again the thing that i wish it was different on this sole is that it's very sticky so if you are on the clean surface maybe indoors or maybe in a, in a mall you will <laughs> you will hear this sole very annoyingly you know if it's not really clean enough that sole maybe you won't hear it but if it's clean trust me you will hear it exactly like a suction cups that is the way to describe it maybe later i will add some audios also here the thickness is around two and a half millimeters and the thickness of this cage around three millimeters this is something uh, like uh, plastic with rubber a mix of that Here we can see the interior once again the footbed is not uh, perforated from the toe box to the end of the sneaker you can see here so i wish they were because you, you will have a lost in cushioning right there and here we can see the laces the size of them in centimeters and inches Here we can see the tips of these laces, they are a bit too thin to my liking, but the elasticity of the laces is just on point, so they are almost okay. Here we can have a better look of this uh, prime knit uh, material without the laces. I think they look very neat the way they look. So about the, this material, for me in this model 
they're a bit too narrow and that means if I want to use them for running I will keep them this size if I want to use them as a lifestyle sneakers I will probably go for a half size up so for me i like this material i only wish they were a bit just a bit more wider just a bit more maybe half centimeter will have done it you know making them perfect for my feet Again here in the shot we can see the footbed that is not perforated till the end of the sneaker and I wish they were because you lose cushioning why you, you don't do that till the end it doesn't make sense for me. Here I'm showing the padding around the heel like you see it's not too much thank god I like it this way I wish more sneakers from Ultra Boost would have the same. And we can see the, the heel on the exterior is reinforced with some kind of plastic, this uh, white piece, this is like plastic for me. And finally we can see the size of these insoles and soles. I will have to remember that my, the size of my feet is around 26 centimeters or 10.23 inches most of the time. And here we have the weight test. As you can tell, they are even less weight than Ultra Boost 22, so for me, they are just okay the way they are. I love them. And here I decided to show you this test because I want to understand better how they fit to my feet. I hope this helps somehow. Here I'm showing the size of my feet. They are around 26 centimeters when they are not swell. Here I'm checking how wide they are, they are almost as wide I wish they were, almost. For the left foot they are perfect, for the right foot they need like few millimeters more to be wide enough. This is how they are for my feet. The length is enough, as you can tell it's over 0.5 centimeters. That is why I said if they are for running I will keep them this way, if they are for lifestyle sneakers I will go half size up, just because I like them a bit more relaxed in my feet. And finally in the shot we can see some on-fit shots. Here we can see the kind of instep that I have and the arch that I have on my feet. I'm showing this part in real time because I want to show you how much time you need to get them in and out. It was very easy. The opening is wide enough to insert my feet easily. So I like them the way they are made this way. This sock fit is very nice. Just by taking them in my feet, 
I can notice how well they are made and how well they are fit to the shape of my feet, you know, it's almost like a glove. Here I'm checking the midsoles and I have to say these ones, they are the ones that I like them. Soft and bouncy. And I like the new ones from 2021 or 2022. Those are, are stiff. Why you are making them stiff doesn't make sense. You know, everyone wants to have nice cushioning midsoles. That's why we choose Boost over other materials. But they forget this, you know. Maybe it's the COVID. They forgot what the people want. I don't know, made them thinner, <laughs> doesn't make sense man, make them bouncier once again, just make them well, everyone ha want to have good cushioning in the sneakers, what the is this, dreaming from them, these ones are the softer that I, I could find, I wish they were having just more stack, make them 39 with 35 and I would be a happy man. Can you do that? Adidas, do that if you can't. And keep the soles as thick as they are. I've seen the Ultra Boost 23, how they look. Don't do that. That will be a big mistake. The layer of rubber in those is like paper thin A4 uh, sheet. Don't do that. Would be a big mistake. Make them well. Is that hard, really? So you just seen the sound of those uh, suction cups, I mean uh, sole, obviously. This is how it sounds. I wish they wouldn't do this noise, but yeah, this is how they are. As you can tell, the level of cushioning on these sneakers is actually very good. I do like it. Like I said, I only miss having more stack. That is the only problem. If they can keep the shape of these sneakers, add more stack, uh, change a bit that sole, the rubber compound, not make this noise. Even maybe cover those exposed holes of boost and maybe half of centimeter wider and they will be just perfect, you know nothing to complain just take them in your feet and have a large smile on your face this is how i see myself with the sneakers that i described it so i think it came the time for pros and cons well for pros they used to have plenty of colorways in this ultra boost 20 now they are not so much but uh, maybe they will come back with new colors i hope so honestly i like the upper that they have I think it's very good uh, quality overall. I like that it doesn't have too much padding. This is one of the best uh, right now from Adidas because most of them they have a bit more padding than these ones. So I like this kind. The sole also I like it because it's thick. It can be even thicker. I don't mind. Um, what else? The midsole, like I said, is soft. This is the way it should be this Ultra Boost models all of them they should be this kind of soft uh, missile now cons well one of them you have it in your front 
I wish they were having some reflective materials, more stack like I said, the rubber compound of that sole to be different, not as sticky, maybe a, a bit more plasticky if it is possible, what else? I like the laces but I don't like the tips, they are a bit too thin, although they are rigid, I don't see them very long lasting because of that, uh, those very thin tips. I want to see back many colorways to have plenty to choose because these ones at the end of the day they are better sneakers than Ultra Boost 21 and 22, even Ultra Boost 5 and 1 in my opinion. Even four, they are not as uh, good as these ones, so they should keep this model and maybe just like I said, add more uh, stack on them. Do it right, you know, at least once, you know, because you, you made so many mistakes and it's time to do something good now. As my final thoughts, I think if you're looking right now for a Ultra Boost model, these ones, they should be in your short list, in my opinion, because they have the softer uh, cushioning uh, missile and overall they fit better than others, less padding. Okay, I will end here this video, thank you very much for watching, see you next time, if you have any questions please let me know, don't forget to subscribe, it's very important for me guys, have a nice day and take care of you.